a very good morning to all of you welcome to a and b exam forum student in this conceptual series we are now bringing a new chapter on set theory and today topic of discussion will be types of set okay so before proceeding i would like to tell you that we have already made various uh, videos on mathematics especially for rrb technician grade 1 signal okay and uh, in the previous session we have already seen the representation of set how to represent a set what are the various notations used in set theory that we have seen and uh, we have also made four five videos on statistics like variance and standard deviation which is one of the important topic in mathematics and uh, we have uh, included 10 to 15 previous year question in that video and if you have not watched this video you can watch it and get benefited from them okay so without wasting any time let's begin the session so student there should be motive for any theory okay so motive is your previous year question so if you see previous year questions from other exam since in this rrb grade 1 signal they have included this set theory for the first time we have included few question from other competitive examination like cds nda fcat okay uh, those exam has also set theory in their paper okay so if you see few of the question from uh, those exam like which of the following is a null set okay uh, there are two equations two set uh, given and you have to tell which of the following is correct like a is subset of b b is uh, subset of a neither a subset of b like this there are various questions in the exam okay so our motive of today class would be to understand what are the different types of set okay and i request all the student to take paper notebook or pen and note with us so that you also get benefited from this video okay because math uh, is basically you require a lot of practice and you need to have a pen and a paper otherwise you will not gain from this video okay so as i told you earlier that the objective of today's session would be different types of set okay and we will try to see each of the types of set along with the examples okay although we have covered only few example after that you can have a textbook and try to explore more different set from that okay coming to the first set which is very important is the empty set okay so let's see the definition first so the definition says a set which does not contain an any element okay i focus on this word does not contain any element is called empty set a very simple definition there is uh, nothing in that so if you have a set and the set doesn't have any element it is called empty set as a word also suggest empty empty means which does not contain anything right and uh, there are other words for this empty set like null set void set if the question says which of the following is a null set you should remember that it is asking about empty set again void set empty set null set all mean the same thing okay coming to the noca notations uh, basically empty set is denoted by two notation first one is the empty braces okay these are the braces and there is no element in it so this empty braces indicate it is an empty set and the other notation is phi okay this is pronounced as a phi phi is other notation for empty set okay understood there is no big deal in that okay coming to the example of this particular set let's see one by one so a set a is this okay so this is a broster form okay you need to build the elements from this set i have already covered this representation in the previous video if you have not gone through that you can uh, go, go through and just get benefited from them okay so if you see let's build the set okay like a is the set uh, so i am going to tabulate each of the element from this uh, set builder form okay so like 
x is set of all the elements which are between 1 and 2 and it says x is a natural number okay and you know natural number are what 1 2 3 4 and so on okay up to infinity okay but there is no natural number between 1 and 2 right although there are real number between them but it strictly says that x should be a natural number so there are no natural number between 1 and 2 okay so this a will not have any element okay or it is also it can be also denoted by phi okay so this is basically an example of empty set understood okay let's see one more question x is a even prime number greater than 2 okay so as we know the prime numbers begin with 2 3 5 and so on there are many prime number okay but the set says x is an even prime number so we know that even prime number is only 2 but it is saying greater than 2 so greater than 2 there is no prime number which is greater than 2 even prime number okay even is one more keyword okay again this is an empty set there is no element which is even as well as it is a prime number which is greater than 2 right so it is also an empty set coming to the next if you see the quadratic equation what will be that x square minus 2 is equal to 0 and x is the rational number okay so if you solve it it will become square root of 2 right and 2 root 2 is what it is an irrational number not a rational number so again it is an empty set because there will be no element which satisfies this condition understood i hope you are getting what i am telling you okay let's see the next uh, definition and the set is finite set and infinite set okay so a set which is empty and consists of definite number of element is called finite otherwise it is called infinite as the word suggests finite finite is having a definite number of element infinite means as you know there are unlimited number of element which you cannot count okay and you should remember the number of distinct element which are in the finite sets are denoted by n s n is the number s is the set number of element which are present in s is denoted by ns okay quickly let us see few of the examples these are the few example okay this is a very simple one x is a natural number and x this is the equation so if you solve this equation uh, this is a very simple one x will be 1 and 2 and both 1 and 2 are natural number so your set will have two element therefore it is a finite set as you can count these elements okay similarly uh, if you solve this it will be x is equal to plus minus 2 and x is a natural number so you will ignore uh, this minus 2 so this set will have only two element in it okay again this is a finite set okay let's see next question x would be 1 by 2 1 by 2 is a rational number but it say x is is a natural number so this set will not have any element it will be an empty set okay coming to the next uh, x belongs to natural number and x is a prime yes there is one natural number uh, there are many natural number which are prime like 2 3 and so on okay so there are many element in it so this become infinite set okay there is no condition okay the condition is it should be a natural number and it should be a prime so there are many numbers in it which you cannot count because natural number domain is infinite okay similarly x belongs to natural number and x is an odd and there are many odd numbers so it is again a infinite set okay understood let's see the next type of sets quickly next type of set is called equal set okay two set a and b are said to be equal if they have exactly the same element a very simple 
definition equal equal means the two set if you compare each element in one set is comparable to other set exactly they are same okay let's see uh, the example uh, in next slide and if two sets are equal they are denoted by this operator called equal to this is for equal to and this symbol denote not equal to these are very simple notations let's see the example of equal set okay this is one set and uh, if you build this set you will have five in it coming to b uh, it is not x2 it is x square and uh, it will have what plus minus five yes so since x is a natural number we are including only five okay so x is natural number here it is missing okay so these two sets are equal sets okay and again if you make uh, this set like x in an integral positive root of equation so if you solve this equation you have what 5 and 3 okay 5 and 3 will be two element okay and if you uh, this is sets not stress okay so these a and b are equal sets whereas if you compare a and c they are not equal sets okay okay let's see the next uh, set that is subset a set a is said to be subset of set b if every element of a is also an element of b okay uh, we will try to understand this subset concept with the help of example in the upcoming slides just for time being just remember this symbol denotes subset a is subset of b what does this means if a belongs to this set a then definitely a belongs to set b okay this means implies this symbol means implies okay so whenever if it is written like a is subset of b remember if a belongs to a belongs to set a then this a will also belong to set b okay and uh, this means a is not subset of b otherwise and uh, if a is subset of b and b is subset of a it implies that a is equal to b obviously if a is a set of element of a it will be element of b similarly if say b is element of a and it is element of a then both the sets are equal sets okay let's uh, few note point we should see every set a is a subset of itself obviously every element of this set a will also belong to its own set that is a so a is always subset of itself an empty set is subset of every set it is true like nothing is there so nothing is there will always be subset of every sets okay let's see the example so there are three sets four sets basically this is a null set set a set b set c let's see which of the following is subset of each other okay so as we have already seen this phi okay is subset of a b c it is subset of a b c coming to this if you see one belongs to here but three does not belongs to here so a is not subset of b whereas if you see a belongs to one here and three belongs to c also and there are many other element but we are interested in a so a is subset of c okay but c is not subset of a why because five three nine elements are there which is not present in set a okay so a is subset of c but c is not subset of a similarly b is subset of c why one five nine are present in c but again c is not subset of b because the extra element are not present in the other set okay let's see the next uh, category it is subset of set of natural number and uh, there are various notations 
uh, in the previous chapter we have seen like n z q q r t r n t okay and uh, if you have not gone through it you can have a look on that like n is the set of all natural number and remember and you have already studied in your class that all the natural number are integers so what does this means natural number are the subset of integers z is denoted by integer okay and as you know all the integers are rational numbers so z is again subset of q as q denote the rational number okay similarly you can go through that okay let's see the next type it is a proper subset and super subset okay and uh, we have seen a is subset of b and if you are saying that a is not equal to b what does this mean a is a proper subset of b a is a proper subset of b okay and in other word b is a super set of a okay this is a simple definition you should remember like if you see a is proper subset of b how a is proper subset of b because a is subset of b and a is not equal to b why a is not equal to b because there is one element 4 which is not present in a that's why a and b are not equal sets okay so that's why a is proper subset of b and whereas b is super set of it okay in other word you can think like that so there are various element 1 2 3 4 elements are there okay and 1 2 3 is pr present inside that okay 4 is outside so this this set a is inside this set b and a is not equal to b therefore it is a proper subset and whereas b is a super set set of a okay singleton set let's see the next uh, set it is single sentence singleton set what does this mean singleton as the word suggest which has single element okay single element means only one element okay singleton means which is only one element in that set and uh, like if you have one set a equal to 20 it has only one element so it is a singleton set coming to the next it is a universal set basically universal set is a basic of all the sets okay it is very simple one like uh, it is first denoted by u u stands for universal okay generally it is denoted by u and example if you see the universal set for set a can be this why because all the element which are present in set a are already in there okay so the universal set for a can be this and more if you go it can be natural number also and if you go further it can be integer also okay so z can be universe for this set as well as this set okay universal means it is a big set which contain all the elements present in it okay that's it so we have seen various types of sets and i hope i could uh, give some of the information some of the knowledge to you on different type of set and uh, there are various other videos as i told you so if you have anything to say regarding this uh, types of sets you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer your questions okay so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day